Okay, so I just wanted to make this video. I'm in a little store where I was sitting on the bench and okay, on top of the fact that they got people following me trying to intimidate me everywhere I go in their cars, they're following me into stores. They're being very nosy, trying to see what I'm buying, what I'm doing, what kind of money I have, and also getting too close to my baby bump, um, getting too close to my body, very intimidating. It'll make you want to just punch them right in the face, which will give them a reason to hurt my child, right? So this is very evil because you should not see grown-ass people and grown-ass criminals. Some of them are police. Some of them are not some of them are um, criminals and then some of them are just racist some of them are just nosy as hell and just getting in other people's business um, and they, they try to get all up on you you know um, to intimidate you and piss you off and they've been doing this to me for a very long time getting all up too close to you following you and it'll make you want to go off but I have not going off on any of them because they were trying to have people fight me in their homes picking me up and then trying to like oh hey girl how you doing then bringing me in the house with a bunch of women and all of them trying to fight you know uh, we already went through that so now the plot right now is to be offering me weed because they was offering me sherm um over there by henry in them house when i was going outside to tell what was going on because i didn't want candy all up in my mouth um, I was sitting on that bench over there and I got up to go use the restroom. Um, but even before that, I was, uh, getting some pictures together for that video I put. And a young, uh, well, an older guy pulled up on me. He was like, hey, what you doing? What you got going on? I was like, oh, I'm just, you know, enjoying the day. And I already know they all out here plotting on me or whatever. Because I, I shot a gun. Um, and, and they feel like a black woman don't have a right to protect herself. Even other black women don't feel like a young black woman had the right to shoot a gun was you there you know and i'm pregnant and they know that and they still trying to set me up okay but anyway so he pulled up on me and he was like um he was like oh uh and then I, there is a coronavirus there is a plague going around but a lot of these people have on masks because they don't want to be identified stalking under his own but anyway so the man pulled up on me and he was like oh do you see like how you doing today? What you got going on? I was like, well, I'm just enjoying my day or whatever. And then he was like, oh, well, uh, do you smoke weed? And I'm like, what? I'm like, no, I don't smoke weed anymore. Because I used to smoke weed a long time ago. You know, everybody done did something in their life, you know. <laughs> you got women that's all got good jobs, got their kids. Talking about they used to smoke crack and all this whole kind of mess. Oh, uh, yeah, I ain't never lived that kind of life. But they really trying to bring me down however they can because I was protecting myself pregnant and protecting my child from a young white male who got nothing but assault charges damn near. And y'all want to sit up here and try to hurt the mother? Had I been a white woman or any other kind of woman, oh my goodness, they'd have been like, yeah, she probably would have called hell too, but this shit would have been over by now. You know, um, and she, I'm pretty sure she would have got some sort of medical care if they didn't successfully kill her child. And I don't have no medical care, you know, and they still running around plotting on me and I'm pregnant. That's ridiculous. So the man was like, do you have, uh, he was like, do you, 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 you sell, you know, he was like, you buy weed or whatever. And I'm like, anyway, people following me all in the damn store. But, um, he was like, um, he was like, do you buy weed? Um, he was like, no, he, do you smoke weed? I was like, well, and I was like, no, I don't smoke weed anymore. And then he was like, oh, well, uh. I was like, why? You must sell it. Because I already knew what time it was, what the plot was, you know. Um, and then he was like, oh, yeah, I do, but, um, you know, la, 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 la. And I was like, can you just buy me some water? So he bought me some water, $2, gave me $2 for some water. Because um, I ain't had no water to drink. But, yo, they're trying to give me weed. That's why I say they leaving me out here pregnant to plot on me. They know that I'm pregnant. They denying my pregnancy in the hospital because they still trying to set me up. They did not want to let me go in the jail. They never took me to trial. They tried to murder me before the trial, knowing that I was pregnant, knowing that I am pregnant. So they did not want to let me go. They felt like, oh, we're going to kill this black woman, you know, in this jail, even though she's pregnant. 
And I went to Conroe Regional Hospital after Charge Nurse Michelle confirmed my pregnancy with a Doppler ultrasound after being back there for nine months pregnant. And I was in labor and I was horribly um, um, in pain. I couldn't breathe. Like, And they took me to the emergency room and denied my pregnancy. And then they, was, they brought me back and was gassing me. They refused to do an ultrasound on my stomach and they was gassing me in the cell stopping my contractions. And then they brought me back um, to the Montgomery County Jail and was gassing me. So then they dropped the charges in August. They dropped the charges. And um, they called themselves setting up some shit when I got out to try to hurt me, you know, and cover all of this up. So I'm out here pregnant and they all know and they swarming around me in cars. They done hire criminals people that help poison me like all this bullshit and this man over here offering me drugs like I know I must gonna give birth oh naturally okay cuz God I could have sworn I heard God say you gonna give birth and I don't want to hear nothing about you scared because I'm scared <laughs> because I don't want nobody hurting my baby I don't want nobody snatching my baby right out of my arms to cover this up I don't want my baby dying because it's too small or it's been through too much you know I don't want uh, people just lying or trying to beat me up as soon as I give birth you know I don't want to have to be fighting people like back up back up you know like I don't want to have to do that because they know I will and I don't want the little baby getting hurt and then I don't want to have problems with my cervix or dilation you know I don't know how the baby is positioned because they would not tell me the results of an ultrasound that I had at Expectation Studio they told the government but they wouldn't tell me and then they're refusing to do sonograms in front of me at the hospitals they treated my body like a specimen like I don't have a right to see my own ultrasound or sonogram or they're gonna lie about it so, you know, I don't know how my birth is going to go because I know they stopped my labor several times with gas or with some sort of chemicals when I was in labor. So I'm afraid, you know, I don't know if I miss her God or whatever, but the way they trying to give me drugs, that's letting me know, hmm, I must be going to give birth. They must know I got my pregnancy is pretty much normal, but for whatever reason, I feel like they're trying to give me drugs to either just arrest me for buying drugs or something, but I'm not buying drugs, or to just be like I'm on drugs to make it seem like I'm crazy. I don't know. Or, worst case scenario, and this is what I'm hoping that it is because they're trying to make me give birth dirty. So that uh, when I give birth to my baby, they can be like, oh, she was on drugs and the baby had this in the system and. Cause I know Cynthia Vera stole my first son, and I believe she. I I had a dream about Austin's mother, her, my baby daddy is, cause my baby daddy is white. And um, let me walk over here, cause there's a lot of sunlight over here. But my baby daddy is white, and uh, look y'all, I'm looking like them, them. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so um. I was sitting right there, but as soon as I came out of the bathroom, they had somebody sitting right there. So I won't have nowhere to see. They are very wicked. They are very evil. Um, so my baby daddy is adopted. And um, he, I asked Cynthia Overa what happened to his dad. I mean, what happened to his mom. And she said, um, Cynthia was like, oh, well, um... All I can tell you is that uh, she gave birth to Austin smoking a cigarette. And that was it. And didn't have nothing nice to say about the, his mother. And so, um, basically, I had uh, a dream. And a black man came to me. And I, first of all, I seen a witch. And she was doing little spirit fingers and doing witchcraft. And I was like, what the hell? It was a white woman. And then uh, I seen pictures of Cynthia, like, from when she was young, showing that Cynthia been a witch um, for a minute. <laughs> and I ain't even, I, God told me, but I didn't know. 
until she told me in the spirit that she was a damn witch while I was in that jail. When she was putting hits out on me. And it was like that poison me. So, you know, people could say, oh, you know, you making this up or how you know. But, you know, we are spirit. And y'all love to watch them horror movies and hear white women talk about their spiritual gifts. But when a black woman talk about hers, oh, why is that so, like, foreign to y'all that black women have spiritual gifts? And that we in tune with the spirit of, of what other people be doing in this society as well. So, um... Yeah, just, you know, getting too goddamn close. You know what I'm saying? It's very... Because they want somebody to hurt this baby. They want somebody to hurt this baby. By any means necessary. You know, or because if I would have just been like, pow, you know, nigga, get the fuck up off of me. And then he could have hurt me. So, I'm telling you, I'm getting really pissed off. Lord, please deliver me because I'm getting really tired of them having people coming all up on me and following my every move. And trying to seem like it's normal. It's not normal. But anyway... So, um, uh, something, some, a black man had came to me when I had seen the witch come, when the witch came to me and the witch, um, the witches was following me and the black man was like, oh, they real serious about what they are trying to do because they followed you to the ultrasound studio when you had went to get your ultrasound and the white lady, young white lady lied to me about my ultrasound time. I don't see a baby. Bitch, I know I'm pregnant. So you talking about you don't see a baby, something wrong with your ultrasound equipment. I ain't go off on her. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Okay, let me just get up and go. Because I knew what it was then. I already knew what it was then. Okay, she going to be evil. And she going to go along with what they're trying to do. You know, and trying to make it seem like I'm not pregnant. May the Lord be my vindicator. Or whatever about this. And I know now that she really was. That she really is going along with what they're doing. Because they done exposed themselves too much to me. For me to know that she was lying. And so, um, basically, the black man said to me, he was like, um, uh, something about a cigarette, and, um, Cynthia done this before. That she have done this before. Um, wanting somebody, like, and all I could remember was Austin's, Austin mom, uh, uh, her saying that Austin mama gave birth smoking a cigarette. And so, you got all these people over here trying to hurt me for Cynthia, and they know I'm a good mom. She can't give birth. She's a witch. You know, um, and they got they over here trying to uh, get information on me and make me out to be a bad mother for Cynthia to steal my child and to not give back my first child. And look how Austin turned out. He's a woman beater. He's been on methamphetamine, heroin. You know, he's been molested. You know, um, and my child, nothing ever bad happened to my baby. You know, um, as far as I know. Until I allowed him to go to daycare one time and they let him bust his eyelid. And I don't know what's all been going on since he's been with Cynthia. But anyway, so uh, the man offered me drugs. He offered me weed. And it's very, you just know, like, I have intuition. Just like I know all the people that's been following me, you know, around. And people sitting around parked in their cars plotting on me right now. So, um, and it's white people. And they all in the hood. Because <laughs> they trying to get the job done. You know how they are. When they want to do something they way, they want to do what they want to do. My baby daddy and Cynthia, they the same damn way. They'll go through any limb to try to get what they want. Even then when they know they dead ass wrong. Um, but anyway, so another man, I was sitting down on this bench right here for like an hour or two. I don't have nowhere else to sit. And so... Um, he revving up his uh, engine all out, bitch. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I don't have anywhere else to sit, and so all of a sudden, um, and it's a white man and a white girl. They just they just sitting there, <laughs> and he's trying to intimidate me or whatever because things are not going their way. They're being exposed, and they don't like being exposed as always for their bullshit. But anyway, I'm not being racist. I'm not being mean. But everybody know how racism works. How people feel like you could just abuse African-American women. And then when she go left like it did, I shot a gun. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. He was being violent with my child. I'm sorry. You know, so she went left. And they still want to try to make me pay for what the young white man was doing. 
You know, he was the one abusing his baby mama and his child, and I'm pregnant. So what the fuck is everybody trying to run around and plot on me for? Because the devil got a right hand full of bribes. He done gave a lot of these black people charges dropped. They done gave these people cars. They done gave these people money, give cars. Now, the white folk, most of the white people just doing it because they white. And they don't want a black woman to get away with shooting a gun. But the blacks, most of them is doing it because they want to be cool with white folks real bad. They feel some sort of unity behind all of them running around plotting on Andrea Jones together. It's brung a lot of people together. It's brung together a lot of Hispanics with whites and blacks all plotting on Andrea Jones. So, yeah, it's a beautiful thing for all of them to be coming up off of me. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they wrong for what they trying to do. And that's what God said. America is wrong for what they trying to do. And this is why they were trying to keep the evidence from coming out. And they got old ass players riding around plotting on me. The young ones. People on foot. And I'm pregnant. So, um, I don't have nowhere else to sit. So, I went to sit back where I was as soon as I came out the restroom in Kroger. Before I started the video. And it was a man and a woman sitting right there now. All of a sudden, they, they taking up the bench where I was sitting down. I don't have nowhere else to sit. I'm going to have to walk a very long distance to have somewhere to sit. They didn't even want me to have nowhere to lie down, you know, let alone have nowhere to sit. Y'all seen how they've been doing me on my whole videos. Like, just the fact that I'm right here looking okay today. You know, I was able to pull myself together through the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? Um, because we all know how they want me out here. And um, basically... So the man was like, um, do you want some weed? So the woman got off and well, I started laughing because I already knew they got them over here sitting on the bench. So I won't have nowhere to sit down. And they all know that I'm pregnant. And um, they don't want me to have nowhere to be able to sit down. So um, the woman got up and walked off with an attitude after I started laughing because I already peeped what the fuck y'all trying to do. And then so um, the man, he, he looking like he all homeless. He going to say some... Uh, um, oh, he was like, first he tried to intimidate me and get all close to me. And I had to look at him like, you know, you know, mm -hmm, come on, bro. Y'all doing too much. I'm pregnant. Y'all know I'm pregnant. And they, they keep trying to fight me. I, uh, Bianca done ran up on me. LaMarcus Sanders done ran up on me. Lily Morris tried to run up on me. And I had to tell all that, get fucking back. Because y'all already know what fucking time it is. You know, um, and then... Um, there was guns involved. Travis Guns pulled out a gun on me twice. James Devon Harris pulled out a gun on me. Y'all some bitch made ass niggas for sure. You know what I'm saying? I am pregnant. And this is ridiculous that the state put them up to this. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm not even finna get into all that. Because I got to ask the Lord to protect me. Because the God already let me know that before shit hit the fan, they gonna want to pull guns out on me and just shoot me in the streets, man. Because too many people done done stuff to me and this child. So they they rather just go and shoot me down and kill me uh, and get some black men to do it. Um, anyway, because they the main ones. The black men is, is the main ones out here doing this bullshit but for these white folks. But anyway, um, and the black women. And shame on their ass. And God said they are black terrorists. So any of y'all watching my videos and you call yourself being involved, God call you a terrorist. He said you are a black terrorist. And that came from the mouth of your God. Because y'all shouldn't be um, trying to do anything to me and I'm pregnant. So anyway, the man started asking me if I wanted some weed. He was like, um, do you want some weed? And they know I got my YouTube channel or whatever. So the man um, asked me, do I want some weed? He got another black man rolling up on me. Where I'm, I'm obviously not going anywhere. I'm just standing right there. Because I'm just chilling. No, I'm not working out. Why? I'm not working out. I'm not doing anything. I'm just chilling with myself. I don't know. I don't really got much to talk about. Oh. Mm. Well, I need a place to stay. You got somewhere I can stay? Not at the moment, but I'll get you a hotel. You will? Will I have to have sex with you? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, you I can't have sex. You buy else. What? Like what? Me I can't do nothing sexual. No, I will not jack you off. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. See, and they're just showing, let them fall by their own counsels. 
all here trying to uh, stop me from talking in my camera about what the fuck they doing. And it's talking about, uh, oh, you going, no, nah, you're not finna, hell nah, bitch. Nah, I'm pregnant. Fuck you, man. Your nasty ass. Anyway, so the man on the bench started trying to offer me weed. So this is how they got it rolling up. They got all kind of people rolling up or whatever, trying to intimidate me and shit. But anyway, so, um... They'll try to pretend like they're going in that store or like they're going to that place of business if I'm by somewhere. It's just ridiculous. I don't even want to go get into all that. It's just goddamn ridiculous. But anyway, so the man tried to ask me for some weed. He was like, uh, no, no, he tried to ask me if I smoke weed, the one on the bench where I was trying to sit down. So that's the second dude. He was like, oh, do you got some weed? No, he was like, oh, you smoke weed? And I said, no, I do not smoke weed anymore. That's what I told him. So I don't smoke weed. And then uh, I walked off or whatever. So now they trying to have me dirty. Because the people that's plotting on me, ain't no damn, they not plotting on me. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Yes, they are. So I'm, I, I need to pray because I'm like, well, what they want me dirty for? Why are you trying to have me dirty for? You know, like, what's that all about? You know, um, and you see dude was like, oh, he wouldn't help me out with a place to stay unless he could pay me out to be a prostitute. You know, like I'm like he like oh he picking me up. I'm pretty. So if you a beautiful black woman, they automatically want to try to paint you out to be a street walker or a prostitute, and they got black men trying to set you up and pull up on you, and then they'll go back and be telling for yeah I took her to the hotel and I fucked her and I did this like you out here prostituting yourself. So this is just ridiculous. And so you gonna leave me outside without letting me into a shelter because I'm a beautiful black woman. Uh, so you could try to pay me out to be a prostitute and a drug addict and say I'm not pregnant and keep my first son. And they know that Melbourne was never taken from me by no damn CPS. CPS is trifling and evil as hell. All of them need to be fired. And I need to run the entire department for child protective services. Honestly, don't I look like I could be running the place? Don't I look like it? Yeah, because I guarantee you all them kids will have good homes. Everybody will be straight and all them bitches will be fat. You fat. I'll come up in that bitch. You fat. You fat, ho. You fat. All of y'all bitches is fat. Now, pack your shit and get the fuck up out of here. Because they don't give a damn about them kids, man. Fuck them goddamn child protective service women. Because they try to come up to the jail with that bullshit. Um, and they know my son was never taken from me. My son was never taken from me. Austin John Meadow was attacking me and my baby. Soon as he got out of prison, he was attacking me and my child in a public place when I shot him. So why are you not giving me back my son? And my apartment I lived in for three years is another black man holding up everybody and they allow him to hold up everybody. He got a paper tag on his car to looking all back here at me with the bullshit. But anyway, so, um, yeah, because they don't like me telling. So I, I stayed in my apartment for three years. I had my own apartment. For three goddamn years, I had my own apartment. So, if y'all caused me to lose my apartment because you arrested me on some false charges, pregnant, for protecting myself and my son, falsifying the police report and trying to murder me up in the jail, why, why the fuck am I out on the streets? And then, won't take me into no shelter, so you can't say that I wasn't trying to get myself together. But God already said they supposed to give me an apartment. That they supposed to make sure I get my apartment back. And that Cynthia Overell was wrong for trying to keep me from my son because Austin pulled out a damn butcher knife on her and chased her around the whole damn house with a butcher knife. But you thinking I want to deal with that bullshit up in my house? But she's telling me, she's telling uh, the police not to help me up in my house when I'm calling the police on him. But when she calling the police on her son, she can get a two-year protective order. She had a two-year protective order to keep Austin away from her damn house. And that shit didn't let up until while he was in prison. He was in prison when her protective order was up. And then he get out and come up in my motherfucking house and up in there attacking me and my little boy. And I'm pregnant by him. And he was attacking me still. Even when I thought I had a miscarriage, he was still attacking me when I told him I was bleeding. He was still attacking me. And then I was calling 911 and Cynthia Olvera, the white woman who they gave my baby to, his mama. She over there telling the police, call. he fled to his mama house and several times every time I called the police he was fleeing in my car and Cynthia gonna call uh, the police department talking about oh go over there and arrest Andrea bitch what you mean arrest me arrest me for what 
Because I'm calling on your son? Because you don't want him to go back to prison? Same damn thing he was doing at your house, he doing up in my house. But oh, I can't get no protection because I'm black? And because I'm his baby mama, I'm supposed to want to keep getting beat up all the goddamn time? No. So they know this shit is wrong. And this is my vindication because so many black women have been very evil to me my whole life. And when I, I, this is a whole nother subject, y'all. This is a whole nother subject about my vindication.